Hey again, everyone. I'm the Cantankerous Collector. This is episode number 60. So I've got um, some Marvel Legends that just came in. I got the Hawkeye Sky Cycle, uh, Baron uh, Von Strucker. And these came in a couple weeks ago. I got the original Iron Man in his gray tin can armor. And the Hulk and Bruce Banner 2-pack. So, um, I won't open those all here. I, I think I'm just going to open up the Hawkeye one. But, uh, so Marvel Legends started back in 2002. So it's been going pretty strong for, what, 21 years. And I've been collecting them ever since. Uh, Toy Biz started uh, the line, and then Hasbro took over, and I think it was like 2006. Yeah. So, um, I just got this in the mail today from... Um, Entertainment Earth. So I thought I would give it a shot. So this is my first Marvel Legends unboxing. You know, I'm not going to get as detailed as a lot of others do. Um, there's some really good uh, channels out there that go real deep into this stuff. And um, they know a lot more about this stuff than I do. But I've, I've always loved these. They've gotten better as they've gone on. There's still um, as many as I have of these. I'm not a completist, so I don't have every Marvel Legend, but as many as I do have, um, there's still a bunch more characters. I hope they end up doing it. So I collect mainly uh, characters from the 60s and 70s. That's kind of my, um, my favorite time in the whole history of Marvel. I stopped collecting comics around... It was, I think it was around 81. It was like the Death of Phoenix was like the last X-Men book I bought. My subscription ran out at that point. And um, I just, I never bought any more after that. And several years later, I went back and I bought a bunch of the ones that I, a um, bunch of comics that I didn't have. But, um, but that's kind of the 60s and 70s. Um, or, or mainly the the time period that I read. So, this is Hawkeye. Hawkeye is a great classic character. He's got one of the best costume designs um, in comics. He's always a cool character. He's never been my favorite Avenger, but visually he was always really cool. I got an arrow. Maybe I should put this over here. Here he is in his Marvel Comics purple. Oh, I didn't know that this was cloth. I don't like cloth on these little figures. I think it's real cheap looking. This isn't too bad. It's not too bad, but oh, I didn't I didn't realize this was cloth. It was probably because he's got to sit on the cycle, so they couldn't put um, hard rubber in his costume. They had to use this fabric. I'm not a fabric guy at all. <laughs> it's, uh, these characters are th these figures are too small for for fabric to look good. It looks like your mom cut this stuff out and put it on. No offense to your mom, she's quite a gal. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. And then we got pieces of the sky cycle here. This came out, I think, a few months ago. I was kind of late in ordering it. But I ordered it like last week and I just got it in, so. I need to look at the box. So Hawkeye doesn't fly, did I mention that? So they gave him a sky cycle so he could get around. Because most of the other Avengers fly. I don't know how close of a uh, representation of this is to the comic 
um, artwork, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It fits. It fits just like your mom. All right. Come on and do it. Do it. Do it till you're satisfied. I hope my uh I hope my mic is working. The last video it, it wasn't working. Test testicle one two. Test testicle one two. Here's the windshield on the sky cycle. Man, these joints are really hard. Holy cow. I've never had a Marvel Legends break before, and I've got tons of them. Okay, so yeah, there's, uh, you're, that's why they use cloth. So forget what I said earlier. I mean, uh, some of these kind of, they need cloth. I mean, if you're going to put them in this thing. I don't know if I'm going to have to buy another one just to have the figure alone standing up with the other Avengers. Man, I, he doesn't, I, you'd think they'd put a hole in his butt so he could uh, sit. Wow. Now, without researching this, you know, sometimes I miss stuff. On my uh, NECA creature from the Black Lagoon video, I, uh, I didn't realize that on the third head, his mouth moves, you know, so... <laughs> And people down, they dislike my video and stuff because of that. But, you know, I mean, I mean, give me a break, man. Come on, man. Give me a break. But that's cool, man. Look at that. Wink, 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 wink. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. I don't know what kind of poses people are getting. That's a cool drawing of him right there. That's that's classic great artwork. I don't know who did that, but that's really cool. That's a boss pose there. I'll try to make that pose. Um... figure is awesome the figure is really cool it's great i love the colors they've got that you know that classic marvel purple that jack kirby purple you know they use purple on so many characters and it always seemed to work The head doesn't move like I like I like it. Well, it, it moves a little. It goes up and down a little, but not a lot. And I know there's there's names for all these joints and stuff. And I just, I mean, I'll be honest. I uh, I don't get that deep into this stuff, but visually, I think these are really cool. And they're expensive now. I think I God when they first started, they were like. Probably like seven bucks, I think, which was high. I remember them going up and thinking, wow, this is a lot of money. And now they're like just a, a one pack, you know, just like this, this 25 bucks. So now they give you a, a build a figure part so you can build another character if you buy all the figures in the wave. 
and I do that sometimes when I when I like the uh, build a figure character. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. Just a vacancy. Love don't live here anymore. You know, I find too that if I, right after I open the figure, the joints are kind of, um, they're cold, I guess. And so they don't, they don't move as, as freely as they will like tomorrow. After this thing kind of warms up to room temperature, his joints will move a lot uh, better. And so I'll get some good shots of this. So um, let me put, I'm, you know what? I'll open up the Hulk real quick. Why don't we do it, do it, do it to be satisfied. Let's do the Hulk and Bruce Banner. Doc Bruce Banner, belted with gamma rays, turns into the Hulk, ain't he unglamorous? Threatens the town with the power of the Hulk. Da, 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 da. I don't know the words, the ever-loving Hulk. Hulk, Hulk. Oh, my God. This thing is stuck. Oh, my God. Wow. So this is the old, um, ooh, look at that. That's his glasses. That's Bruce Banner's glasses. It's in this little bag that's taped. Um, this is the old Hulk. You know, Hulk was based originally on Frankenstein, so he had like a flat head. Oh, who is this? Doc Bruce Banner, belted with gamma rays, turns into the Hulk. Here's a couple fists. A couple fists. Or one, f no, two hands, not fists. What is this? Is this a Build-A-Figure? See, I, I'm not real. Uh... Oh, it's just like a. What the hell is it? It's like a club. It's like a, I don't know. It's like something he's going to beat somebody with. I, uh, I claim total ignorance. I don't know. Here's Bruce Banner. So they're trying to get away from uh, using plastic, and so that's why We've got boxes now where we can't see the figure before we buy it, you know, to see if the paint job is really good. And so, um, but I noticed that there's an upcoming figure that's back in its a plastic shell. So I don't know if they've abandoned this or not, but it doesn't really bother me. I, I buy all my stuff online now anyway, so, you know, you never know what you're going to get. But most of the paint jobs on these Marvel Legends have been really good. Here's the Hulk. I hope my uh, sound is... I hope my mic's still working. Salt Lake, Salt Lake, this is Columbia 409, Nancy Pryor, stewardess, something hit us, okay, oh, here's another head. So we've got kind of a scowling head. Well, they're both kind of mean looking. Um, 
but one's the mouth's open, the other the mouth is closed. <laughs> this is a great figure. This is awesome. This is the Hulk to me. You know, the Hulk, they draw him really big now. He's huge. And it's it's horrible. I actually like um, the movie Hulk isn't too bad. He's bigger than the other guys, which is fine. Um, and his head is in proportion to the body, which is really important. Because now they draw him with this, and they sculpt him too with these, this little pinhead and this huge muscular body. And he's, he's, he's the Hulk. He, he's like a Hulk. He's not like a huge monster. You know, when, when Kirby, you know, those guys originally drew him and stuff, he was big, but he wasn't like, I mean, they make him look like he's 10 feet tall and is, he's way out of proportion and stuff, but this is really cool. I mean, you know, he's going to have to, he's going to be muscular and stuff, but sometimes they draw him like he's just like, pumped up on every steroid uh, made in the history of the world it's just it's crazy but this is a this is cool and then he originally had blue pants I don't remember if it was just his first appearance or not and then he had this orange um, tattered a uh, shirt too I mean that's awesome this this is really cool. This is this is awesome. This is this is going to be one of my favorite Marvel Legends. They've done some pretty cool Hulks. They did another one a couple years ago that was really good. But this is awesome. I mean, these are works of art to me. I know they're toys and shit, but for, kids don't collect this stuff, so I don't make these videos for kids because I, I don't think they watch them, and. Um, you know, I'm nowhere near a kid. I'm an old fart, but I don't care. I, I love this stuff. I think this I think it's really cool. And they've just they've gotten so good at um producing these and and I'll bring out some of my old figures and we'll do, you know, like a Hulk a Hulk action figure episode where I show you, you'll see just the progression and how good these have gotten over the years. And so the Hulk's got a couple of, so he's got the two fists, and then he's got um, some grabbing hands. And, of course, the head. And I guess this is just like a like a thing. I don't, maybe this is something from the comic that I don't remember. Maybe he, um, in his first appearance, he had this in his hand. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. I've got all those stories reprinted in the, uh, I buy those Marvel Epic Collections, and those are awesome. And I've got, God, at least 50 volumes of those. And so I'm willing to sell my comics um, once I get them graded and stuff. But those Marvel Master were, or, uh, yeah, Marvel Masterworks, those are awesome. And a lot of these stories, I, I never read. You know, a lot of 60s stories, stuff in the 70s, too. I mean, I just, I couldn't buy every comic book, so. Uh, I read his first few appearances and stuff, the first six stories or whatever, but. So there's um, Doc Bruce Bear. He looks kind of young. He looks kind of dweebish. They should have included a uh, Rick James or uh, Rick James, um, Rick Jones, Rick James, Super Freak. Yeah, they should have included Rick James, Super Freak, and Rick Jones in this set, a four pack. She's a super freak, super freak. She's super freaky. Yow. So this is a, another great figure. He looks a little young, but. Uh, um, Looks less of a scientist and more of a um, more of a um, retail clerk, but uh, this is a great set, though. I'm glad I got this. This was pretty pricey. These go really high. It's not like, oh well, you know, this is one figure. Here's another figure. So, all right, twenty five, twenty fifty dollars. No, it's higher than that. <laughs> Yeah, 
these are boss. I, I, I love these. This is a great, uh, this is a great haul. And I, I still haven't opened up my Iron Man. And okay, my camera went dead. Um, so uh, I'm real pleased with these. These are awesome. These are uh, great additions to the collection. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to afford these. But like I said, they've, they've still got a lot of um, great figures to uh, produce. A lot of old villains and stuff, older villains that probably a lot of the younger collectors, the um, millennials and the Gen X guys and stuff, they, they may not be interested in those, but hopefully um, they keep producing some of those old classic characters. But uh, I'm happy as a lark. This is very cool. And so, oh, check out my eBay store. Death by Buffalo, Death by Buffalo, all one word. I saw a bunch of pop culture stuff, comic book related stuff, Jaws, all that cool stuff. And I'll be uh, putting more videos out. So uh, thanks for watching. See you later.